Hello and welcome back to Unbiased Magic Reviews. Today I have an exclusive requested top five workers review for you guys. We're going to be taking a look at my top five razor wallet effects. So over the past few months I've gotten a lot of emails from people asking me what is my daily carry in terms of carrying in my razor wallet? What type of routines have I found work well with the razor wallet? Over the past eight months, through trial and error, I think I finally honed down the routines I like to carry as my daily carry in the Razor wallet, and I'm gonna share them with you guys because you may also find some use to them. If you're new to my channel, this is the type of analytical review that you're only gonna find here. Sure, you can find other review channels that have done reviews on the Razor wallet, you can even go back and watch my original review on the Razor Wallet that I did back in October of last year, but you're not gonna find anyone who's actually gonna show you how they structure the magic that they use every day, like I'm doing for you guys here. So, uh, some people probably wonder, is this my choice peak wallet to carry with me every day? It sure is. And the main reason is because of its size. So a lot of people will say that they prefer the Viper wallet. When you look at the size of it, right, the Viper wallet is just a lot bigger. It weighs more. Um, if you're somebody who's performing magic almost every day like me, you don't want to be weighing yourself down with a bunch of crap in your pockets. In fact, I'm the type of person that I try to be more of a minimalist in terms of what I'm carrying as my daily carry. I want to carry the maximum amount of effects that I can have without sacrificing you know, your pocket space for that. You don't want to be loaded down with crap, but you want to make sure that you have enough stuff that at the spur of the moment when you want to perform something, you have it and you're ready to go. The nice thing is that with this, I have a number of routines ready to go. I'm going to go over my top five choices with you guys ones that I carry with me here all the time. You're not gonna find a review like this anywhere else here on YouTube, so you may wanna pay close attention. Before I even get into that top five review, I'm just gonna mention a few things to you guys about the Razer wallet. Um, some people have mentioned that they have difficult times getting the actual business cards out um, of the front of it, and what I would recommend is this, is that you may want to just get rid of the actual loyalty card that comes with it. I mean, it's a nice thing to have in there and I usually just carry it with me because it, it does look nice when they put the card in between there behind the loyalty card, but truth be told, you don't need it. So you can just lose the loyalty card and that really will open up a lot of space. It'll be a lot easier to get those business cards in and out of the wallet. So. That's the other thing. And then just through daily use, this thing will loosen up. It will loosen up so you can get them out. Look how easily I can get them in and out. Do you see that? So if you're not being able to pull yours out like this, that means you're not using it enough. That's what it means, okay? You need to go out and perform. All right, now before I even get started into my list of top five effects, routines, or accessory effects that I carry in here, I'm just gonna make a couple other mentions to you guys of other things you may wanna also take a look at and also tell you about a routine that I really like to do with this as an opener. Um, so one routine I'm gonna to mention to you guys you may wanna take a look at is in Peng Penguin Magic Monthly. Now, if you buy magic from Penguin, like I do every month, then you should be getting one of these almost every month too. Um, the October edition in 2019, last year, they actually had a whole article here. It was called Sharpening D. Christopher's Razor Wallet. Now in here, this article basically gives you some ideas of peaks, how to do a card to wallet, which I'm not really interested in any of that because I wouldn't use it for that. But what is interesting is that there is a routine here at the very end which is really good and you may want to take a look at it and it's called One More Bonus Routine. That was the name they came up for it. But in a nutshell, it's a routine that you do for two people at the same time. Each person thinks of a number, they write it down on a business card, and you put both cards at the same time into the wallet. You have one person think of their number, 
they multiply it by another number, they add it to another number, and then you take out a card, which you're gonna give them to put their total, and they subtract another number from it, and they come to a final number, which they're gonna be amazed because the first two digits are their number, and the second two digits is the second person's number, and you haven't seen any of the numbers at all. So it really is a great effect, and it's based on a Carl Foles routine, and you may want to take a look at it. I've used it. Um, I got some good reactions from it. So that's something that you may want to take a look at. And it works really well with the Razer wallet. So the other notable mention I wanted to tell you guys about is my own effect that I call my favorite number. I will probably be giving this away as a prize to an upcoming contest. But at the very least, you guys can get an idea of my go-to opening effect with the Razer wallet and may give you some ideas of maybe a routine that you can structure yourself. So I based this on Al Koran's double thought effect. In Al Koran's double thought effect, the spectator and mind reader reads each other's minds, but they use playing cards. I wanted to do something similar, but without the playing cards, and this is what I came up with, and it works perfectly with the Razor wallet. In my routine, I approach a spectator, I tell them that I have a favorite number. It's a two digit number. I ask them if they have a good sense of intuition. I give them one of my business cards and tell them just write down whatever impressions you're getting. They write them down and I put the card sight and scene into the wallet. So I take out one more card as I put the wallet away and I tell the person, okay, well the number, my favorite number is 70. Maybe they wrote down 71. So it was almost a hit. Um, very, very close. And then I tell them, no way, really? Is that really what you wrote? So then I take out the wallet again. I take out their card and sure enough, that's what they wrote. So that's pretty impressive right there. So then I tell them, you know what? Let's switch roles. Let's try again, but let's switch roles. This time you think of your favorite number. I'm going to write down my impressions of what I'm getting. So now I write down my impressions and then I ask the person, what number are you thinking of? It could be a number that means something to them. It could be their favorite number. They tell you the number and it's a direct hit. So the first phase is an almost hit. The second phase is a pure direct hit. And I've had a lot of success with this opening routine that I use with the Razor Wallet. I just mentioned it to you guys so you get an idea of what else I use the Razor Wallet for. All right, let's take a look at my top five Razor Wallet effects. Keep in mind that these are my own opinions from my own trial and error. Some of these effects use the Razor Wallet's peak feature and some of them don't use the Razor Wallet at all for anything, but they fit perfectly in here. And this is a nice way of structuring your magic. I never perform all of these effects together, but I like having them all at my fingertips. I usually will perform one or two at a time, uh, never more than that at once. And you can see that it all fits in here really well and it's so easy to carry with me. So I'm gonna go through these one at a time with you guys and show you exactly how this all packs in here. You will be amazed how much magic is in such a small place. So I've got three business cards here in the front so that way I can do any type of routine with the wallet itself or any of these that I'm gonna go over with you guys. These top five routines are not, or effects are not in any order of importance. I'm just gonna list them out. So number five on my list goes to Leo Boudreaux and his effect, a number divination. This is the only effect you can get for free on the Magic Cafe. If you do a search for Leo Boudreaux, uh, you'll be able to find it if you have more than 50 posts. So this has been a go-to of mine for a while. And what I've done is I've put the 30 numbers on a little, you can see I've printed it on a little piece of paper and I laminated it. So this fits perfectly into the Razor wallet. This is all I need to perform the effect, but I like to perform the effect with an extra climax. So I usually also have a little envelope that has a prediction in it or sometimes I'll just make a prediction in front of the person like on, on a business card or something else because this routine, the way it works is you hand this to the spectator. I like to turn my back and you have them concentrate on any one of these 30 numbers. There is no math involved. You start from one digit and you have the spectator concentrate on it. They tell you whether or not it's odd or even and you're able to read their mind. 
when you get to the final two digits, you don't have to ask any questions, which is why I like to use a prediction at the very end, because I combine this with the digital force bag. So that way I can have a very impressive prediction at the end because they're thinking of a two digit number at the end that there's no way I could know what it is. In fact, they don't tell you anything about the two digits yet. You open your phone, you tell them, look, I have this list in here. I have a list here in my notes. Let's go down to whatever number you're thinking of that I could not know what it is. They read the item that's there and it matches your prediction mind blown. <laughs> the reason I mention this to you guys is because I've gotten such strong reactions from it is why I recommend it to you guys. Again, you're not going to find information like this on anybody else's review channel. Keep that in mind. So this is number five on my list of top five effects for the Razer wallet. Now moving along to number four, we have Paul Carnazzo's uh, depiction. And what that is, is it's another little card. And here we have 20 little images on here um, of different items. And you have the spectator think of one, okay? So you hand them the card, you have them think of one of these pictures on the card, and you go through a visualization process and you basically read their mind. The nice thing is you never ask for really anything specific about the picture they're thinking of, which is really nice. It's super easy to perform. There is no mental gymnastics and there is no crazy memory work involved. It's super easy. You're gonna really like it a lot. Um, to, for me, it's one of my go-tos, which is why I carry it in the Razer wallet. And you can see it fits perfectly. This is really a great effect. I don't know if I mentioned or not, you can pick this up for $20. Um, again, it fits really nice in the wallet. Moving along to number three, a personal favorite of mine, the Thought Association card, version four by Steven Yakinen. I hope I pronounced his name correctly. This is $15. And what I've done is I've put the 60 words, again, I printed out on a little piece of paper and I've laminated it so that way I can carry it with me. This does work in conjunction with the Razer wallet. So I use it together with this. In the original routine, you just use this alone. But what I've done is I've structured it so that way I have three revelations. The spectator will mentally think of any one of these 60 words that are totally different. They have, they can look at this as much as they want. They have to admit they're totally different. They're gonna think of one of these words and then they're gonna concentrate on it and they're gonna go through a process where they're gonna think of another couple of words. You can reveal all of them. Um, including the original word because I'm also using the peak feature of the Razer wallet together with this. The marriage of these two together is astronomical. You should check it out and try it out yourself. So this is one I never leave home without. I've been performing this for about eight years now and this is a staple. This is a go-to and it really is a pleaser for, for anyone that you perform for. So that's number three on my list of top five Razer wallet effects. Moving along to number two, for number two, I have here four pieces of cardstock, and this is not just for the effect number two, it's also for the effect number one. So I use it for both. I'll usually do one or the other, or else I won't even use either of them, but I like having it available. So Ian Rowland put out some lecture notes in 2016, and in there, there was an effect that was called Rama, or read anyone's mind anytime. And that was an incredible prediction effect. And for that, you need to have four pieces of blank cardstock to perform the effect, and it just destroys people. The actual method is so easy, no sleight of hand. I've never actually seen that method before, but it really impresses people. So if you can imagine that you walk up to a spectator, you tell them that you had this premonition yesterday, you write down your premonition, you turn the card over, you write yesterday, and you show that to them, it says yesterday. You put it on the table, you tell them, I'm gonna show you what I wrote in a moment. And then you ask them to think of something. Then you write down what they thought of, you turn that card over and you write today's date. 
you pick up the card on the table and you hand them both cards. They can examine them as much as they want. They can take them home. They're going to see that what you wrote matches what they merely just thought of. I mean, it's incredible. The structure of the routine is genius. Um, I definitely would recommend it to you guys if you can get your hands on his 2016 lecture notes. It's definitely a favorite of mine. Moving along to number one, my num number one uh, razor wallet effect also uses this blank card stock and that effect is called 5050 by Andrew Gerard. You can actually pick it up now for $10 uh, from Penguin Magic, although I think that he was originally on Conscious Magic Volume 2, which I think you can still get that, and that I think is $20, but this one effect is definitely worth the $10. Um, this is a 50-50, and besides the, the blank cardstock, I also carry in here one other thing for it, which is a $100 bill, because any 50-50 effect, you have to have some kind of money to put on it, so I carry a $100 bill here ready to go. If you're not familiar with this effect, what it is is that you write down a prediction on one of these blank card stocks, you put it face down, you put the bill out, then you take a second one and you write an L and an R for left and right, and you tell the spectator you're going to influence them to pick up the bill with one hand or the other. Um, and then after you're done doing that, they're instructed to pick up the bill with either hand. They do, you show them, that you predicted ahead of time what hand they would pick up the bill with. Uh, no sleight of hand, it's like almost self-working, um, it's an excellent effect. This is the type of effect you will learn and use for the rest of your life, <laughs> which is why it is one of my top five uh, razor wallet effects here, because it works really well and it's so easy, all, all you have to do is carry the card stock with you, which is why I have it here ready to go. So what I do is, I have these effects here in the razor wallet ready to go uh, whenever I need them. Like I said before, I don't perform all of them, but I like having all of them here. This is how I structure a lot of my uh, daily carry magic like this, because it's incredible how you can have so much magic in such a small space. So anyway, I hope that you guys got something out of this top five requested review. Again, for me, this is a worker because I carry this with me all the time, every day. This is my preferred peak device, hands down, and it's because it's just so easy to carry with me. If you have any questions or comments about this review or anything else that I've reviewed, please just leave me a comment below. Thanks again, guys, for tuning into my reviews, and I'll see you on the next one.